Well, how do you how do you intend to gain possession of this land that you want, and how do you intend to get there? That's a good question. Number one, we 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 didn't have any trouble getting to America because the white man. By that I mean we didn't we weren't pilgrims we didn't come on the Mayflower, and we didn't come from Europe and we didn't come of our own volition. We were brought here in chains at the bottom of the slave ship, and since we didn't pay transportation here, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says that the contribution that the black man made in this country, uh, which amounts to 310 years of slave labor, for which we have never been given a dime or a cent. Uh, places a burden upon the American white man today for which the government should pay. They, and he says that our people should be allowed to go back to our own homeland, that the government itself should supply us with the transportation, and that, when we, that they should supply us with the machinery and the tools necessary that will enable us to dig the soil and develop our own agricultural system and feed ourselves for the next 20 to 25 years until we are in a position to be completely independent and stand on our own feet. And he says that if the government does not want a mass exodus of black people from this country back to our own homeland, since we cannot live in peace together, mixed up on this continent, the alternative to that solution is to divide a separate part of this country into which our people can migrate and in which the government again should supply us with the machinery and the tools necessary to establish our own independent society and our own independent country. And in this way, it will be uh, creating a solution that the black man himself, our people, ourselves, can bring about if we have that uh, capability. And for your clarification, because this has been brought up, some people say, well, why should the government do this? If this government can send billions of dollars to communist countries like Poland and Yugoslavia and to neutralist countries in Asia and Africa who have never made any contribution whatsoever to the sum net worth of this economy and country. And at the same time, this government feels that it is too much to set about something real to solve the problem for the slaves who made a greater contribution even than your people did, why the government doesn't even deserve to continue to function as a government. You mentioned, uh, again just now, land set aside for your people, sir. What land is available that's not already possessed by others? When you came to this country, the land was inhabited by the Indians, and you didn't have any problem then. 